Why do authors put two images side by side in a text? In this lesson, you will compare and contrast textual details by diagramming two different images. In order to compare and contrast, you must look for both similarities, or features that are the same, and differences, features that are distinct or not the same. One organizer to help with comparing and contrasting is called a Venn diagram. A Venn diagram uses two circles that overlap to display information. The differences go on the outer sections of each circle, and any similarities go on the inside, overlapped parts of the circles. In our last lesson on making predictions based on the title, we read The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Today's lesson is going to study both options that the speaker faces taking one path or taking the other. These two options will be the two images that we compare and contrast. A common mistake when studying this topic is looking for only similarities or only differences rather than both. Similarities and differences both tell readers important information about the text. Together, looking for the similarities and differences will give us a more complete picture of the details in the text. Let's start by rereading The Road Not Taken and highlighting lines that relate to the speaker's two different options. Let's use a few different colors. I'll use yellow for details related to option one and green for option two. Finally, I'll use a third color, blue, for any similarities I find. Right from the start, the speaker says that there are two roads. He knows that he is only one person and therefore can only travel down one at a time. There are two different images. Lines 4 to 5 tell us about the first road. Look down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Let's highlight this image in yellow. Then, lines 6 to 8 tell us about the second road. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear. Let's highlight this image in green. Finally, at the end of the poem, the speaker also talks about image number 2, saying in lines 19 to 20, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. Let's highlight that in green as well. So now that we found all of the differences between the two roads, let's also go back and highlight the similarities in blue. We're looking for any lines that compare both roads. Let's highlight lines one to two. Two roads diverge in a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both. When looking for similarities, let's also highlight Though as for that, the passing there had warned them really about the same in lines 9 to 10. Finally, lines 11 to 12 also compare the two roads. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. These lines should all be in a different color, blue, in order to distinguish them from the differences we found in yellow and green. Okay, once we've found the differences and similarities, it's time to organize our findings into a Venn diagram. First, we need to draw our circles so that they overlap in the center. Then, we should label each circle so we know which circle stands for which road. Now we're ready to add our details. The differences highlighted in yellow and green should go on the outside sections of the circles. The blue similarities go on the inside, overlapping section. Now that our Venn diagram is filled in, we have successfully compared and contrasted the two different roads in this poem. Do you see what I did? I followed these steps. 1. Reread and highlight when you notice two different images. 2. Ask yourself, how are these images similar? How are they different? And 3. Make a Venn diagram using specific details from the text. In this lesson, you have learned how to compare and contrast textual details by diagramming two different images.